Hey guys, it's Jess with Oak and Grain. Welcome back. Typically you'll find me refinishing furniture on this YouTube channel, but today I'm actually gonna be sharing how I did a super easy baseboard update. I'm going to create an illusion of taller baseboards with absolutely no demolition and at a really low cost. So if you wanna see this budget-friendly, no demolition, easy baseboard upgrade, then just keep watching. So this is my very boring builder grade hallway. To give it a nice base lift, I'm going to be focusing on the baseboards for this project. My goal is to bring in a little bit of character and make the space look richer and more customized. I started by giving the existing baseboards a nice scrub down with my favorite degreaser crud cutter. As I mentioned before, this baseboard update involves no demo. Yes, you heard that right. No demolition. Before things get too messy, I laid down some tarp. And before heading to the hardware store, measured the perimeter of my space so I knew exactly how much product to purchase. We headed to Home Depot to grab some base cap molding, which is just a trim piece that looks like this up close. I'll be attaching it above the existing baseboards to create an illusion, kind of like this. Before adding to the baseboards, I wanted to freshen up my walls with a brighter paint color. So before painting, I marked a guideline for myself so I knew where I could stop painting and also avoiding doing any unnecessary cutting in work. I removed the switch and outlet plates and got to cutting in. Here I'm using a beautiful warm white color by Bear called Swiss Coffee. Once all of my walls were painted and dry, which took two coats, I moved on to painting the new trim pieces. Here I'm using the color Sculptor Clay, also by Bear, for a contrasting trim look. In hindsight, I'm not sure how much time this step actually saved me, and I'll explain a little later in this video. Just so I knew exactly where to tack the new trim up on the wall, I went ahead and marked all of the studs using a small piece of tape. I then grabbed the spacer I'll be using. I chose a 1x3, but you could go smaller or larger depending on the look you're going for. Just keep in mind, whatever you decide on, you'll want to use that same size spacer as your painting guideline in the previous step. I started by adding the 8 foot trim to the longest walls and then went back and did my detailed cuts. I left this part out, but you'll want to trim the corner end to a 45 degree angle with a miter saw or miter box before attaching to the wall. Using the spacer between the original and new trim, I used a brad nailer to tack the base cap molding to the wall using a single nail over each stud, and repeated the nailing process along the length of the trim, sliding the spacer along as I went until I reached the end. Now for the detailed cuts. Before using any power tools, I always grab my stoggles. I love these cute safety goggles and I will link them in the description with a 10% code. For the outer corners, I found it easiest to first make gross cuts and mark the exact distance with a pen instead of trying to measure perfectly. Once I had the distances marked, I set my miter to a 45 degree angle and made the cuts for the outer corners. I repeated this process along the perimeter of the entire hallway. The toughest section was this one here. Honestly, it just took a lot of trial and error, but once the cuts were really close, I just sanded the edges with an 80 grit sandpaper until it fit perfectly. Luckily, caulk is very forgiving, so I didn't worry too much about it looking perfect. 
And speaking of caulk, next I caulked all of the seams and just the top edge of the base cap molding. I prefer using a slightly damp rag for caulk removal or even a baby wipe works great. To fill all the little nail holes, you could certainly whip out some wood filler, but this time around I just used a little bit of extra caulk left on my finger to fill all the nail holes. So here's where the drama illusion comes in. To make the old and new trim look like they belong together, I'm painting the base cap molding, the empty space in the middle, and the existing trim all the same color. I'm sorry, but there was no way I could possibly cut out this cute face. Anyway, I'm using the color Sculptor Clay by Bear, and as I mentioned previously, I'm not so sure that pre-painting the base cap molding actually saved me much time because after filling the nail holes, I had to do an extra coat of paint anyway, though having to be a little less precise on the cutting in of the base cap molding was kind of nice. And here's what it all looked like after. I am so impressed with how easily this project came together and how much of an impact a really simple trim addition like this had on this hallway space. I did end up painting the top of this little pony wall the same color as the trim and the bifold laundry doors black for a little bit of contrast. In total, this project cost me about $150, not including the tools. And I couldn't help myself, I immediately had to lay out my new vintage rug from Biev. I'll link the site and my 10% discount code down in the description. I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Definitely let me know if this is something that you might try. And if you like this video and are interested in more easy DIY updates, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching! Oh,